in my own environment Making everything inside Feeling free as a young eagle must feel When he masters flight I'm trying to live in this cold world where the problems is a drag. All right, well, this is an attempt uh, to do a few different technical things that I've not done before. The first one is to use my uh, old iBook 2010, rather sorry, MacBook 2010, to uh, 15 inch to record some video, and I've not done that. I'm using iMovie to do this. I've also got my fan running high because this thing overheats so quickly, so sorry about the background noise. But what this is really about is this phone right here. This is a uh, OnePlus 2, and uh, it's worked intermittently and suddenly checked out completely uh, and doesn't work at all. And uh, after doing all sorts of things that were on the OnePlus site and on the XDA site, I discovered that uh, none of them worked. And a number of them were more like voodoo than made any real sense. Um, not that I'm above, not above uh, trying a little voodoo here and there with this thing or with any electronics. Um, but. What we're going to do now is, in short, try to replace the USB port on this phone. That is, it's actually a part of an internal ribbon. And I picked one up for the massive price of $4 off eBay, so uh, we'll give it a shot. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But at the very least, it should be interesting to uh, see the guts of the phone. I've been in here a few times already, so the screws are already removed. There are 18 screws that hold this phone together. Uh, so I'm going to tilt the lid down and, sh and watch the quick dissect that I'm going to do, dissect, and, uh, and then uh, we'll get down to taking out the old ribbon and then getting out the new one, which we strongly hope will uh, save us from oblivion. This is bricked, known as a hard bricked phone. In other words, no power, nothing on the screen, we don't know what to do. Can it be saved? Can this phone be saved? We're about to find out if this, anyway, is a solution. Okay, uh... Now this is the uh, this is the phone. I've removed the uh, case, which is another three bucks I spent. Um, I'm obviously a real cheap guy. Old technology doesn't require a lot of money. Okay, take this phone lid off. Normally there are, there are two there are two pieces here. This is the outer back. This is the back, um, and then this is the inner inside and normally there are 18 screws here uh, and it's quite a big deal to get it open I mean if you're not into unscrewing things that is um, but uh, there it is open and now I've actually exposed the guts of the phone um, what we'll be working on here is the ribbon which goes starting from the back of the phone here or the bottom of the phone you plug in here the ribbon runs along here but as you'll see this battery is in the way so we have to unplug the battery I take my fingernail and pluck that plug and now the battery will come out these are really stuck in here this one's been out a few times and it's even still sticky in here um, they put some uh, adhesive in there as you can see. Now there's the battery. You set that aside. And uh, now here is the old ribbon. And the ribbon runs right along like this. There are a few places that we want to take apart, so we have to go here very slowly.
first one is we go here and uh, we lift that up. That's the that's the far end of the cable up toward the motherboard, which is up in here. Um, now, I pull this, and you note I'm 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 I should be using a spudger to do this, but uh, this has been out already once, so I'm just kind of using my fingernails. Um, this right here, however, we do need something that's got a little bit of pry power. Um, and uh, I don't know why I'm really even worrying about saving this one because I've got a replacement, but I'm paranoid. You never know. The replacement may be no good and this may be fine. I may find out later on this was fine. Say so that this has popped up now. So now I can come down here and this comes out. And then uh, we see that we're once again caught down here. And that means we have to do this. Okay, now we've unplugged another one. I don't know if you saw that or not. Um, and then we work our way all the way down here. And uh, one or both of these, I don't remember. Let's just pop one to start with. Um, no, I think it's going to be both. Both of these have to be popped. Okay. And now this is a really interesting thing. I watched another guy struggle with this for some time. But I believe all you have to do is kind of tilt back in here with something small. Um, well, here I am struggling with it now. This came right out the other time I did it. The, the actual port itself is, is uh, you don't want to tug on that because you can, you can break it. Um, Let's see here. I should have had these over here before. This is the, the set of spudger tools and so on and so forth. Let's, uh, let's really go for a microscopic screwdriver because the issue here really is this this port here just has to get poked a little bit and you see did you hear that little click? All of a sudden it comes up and then it's gonna it will be a happier camper and out it comes. So there you go. That is now that's the old uh, USB ribbon cable. I'm gonna lay that over here on top of the battery. It's out of play. And now here is the envelope with the new one in it. So in real time here we're opening that up. Wow, they really glued this baby shut. Um, now, here we go. This is the this is the new one, and uh, I'm gonna reach out and touch a few different metal things to try to get any charge I've got off me. Um, and. Uh, This shouldn't be but the work of a few seconds to get back on here. Now, I don't know if they provided me with any adhesive on the back of this. Um, it actually doesn't look like they did, so I'm just going to be winging this without adhesive. I'm checking it to see if they bothered... Uh, providing me with the little rubber thing and they didn't. Okay, so that means I want to lay this down for a moment and retrieve this little piece. I don't know if you see that little rubber ring around there. I don't know if I'll ever get it back on once I take it off. Ah, uh, yeah, it came. That's that's tape. That's nothing more than tape, which is sort of interesting, but I'll put it I'll put it on top of here anyway. All right, now I'm going to carefully lay this down in here. Um, and it's a rather tricky business because once it goes in there, it really does not want to come up again. Um, it's, uh, there, do you hear that snap? That's, that is the sound of success, we hope. Okay, now I lay it down here. 
And you will notice that these two guys... I'm going to lay those down. And get those to... Have a little bit of an issue with lighting here. Um... Trying to see where my two pegs are, and they should be right. All right, uh, the uh, MacBook Pro cut out on me uh, in the middle of that, but that's fine uh, because it ended up I had a little wrangling episode with the ribbon, which initially appeared to be too long by about a quarter inch or less uh, to fit into the channel. Uh, and then plug on one end and the uh, USB port at the bottom of the phone. So uh, anyway, what happened was is that I realized up near the top of the of the phone where the where the motherboard is and where the little plug is that the ribbon fits into. Um, there's actually the the ribbon actually kind of rolls down. There's a Rather than just sticking straight out, it kind of had to be made a little three-dimensional or uh, change planes of existence anyway from a from a somewhat higher to if, if you can imagine this being the ribbon, uh, it 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 bent like this and then kept going. Um, what a poor ex <laughs> what a poor uh, explanation. <laughs> anyway, um, but it was the right length. Uh, however, right now, uh, when I finished it all, got everything snapped back into place, the phone's still dead. That does not mean, of course, that the phone is actually dead. It could be that the batteries are kaput right now. And these OnePlus 2s are infamous for uh, not knowing what to do with a battery that's really low. It somehow activates something in the phone circuitry sometimes that determines the phone not to charge the battery and not to go on uh, even when there's uh, current going into it from the charger so I'm using the original OnePlus charger and ribbon which uh, I've seen work in the past recent past uh, and now we are attempting to charge the phone but that's going to be another project uh, and so we'll have to see whether in about maybe 12 hours, or at least maybe 6 or 7, uh, whether or not there's any sort of sign of life in this phone. Um, so in other words, I may have done nothing to help the phone by removing uh, that cable. But it was a cheap explanation. It was one that made sense. And... Uh, to put it briefly, the reason that I thought maybe that this would be the cause um, is that when a ribbon cable, when it, rather when a charging cable is stuck into a phone, that little port gets rocked. And oftentimes, there are various issues with those ports. The most simple one is, is uh, if you have issues with your port, take a toothpick. Don't use something metallic, but use, use a toothpick and go in there and run it around on the inside of the port and you'll probably get all sorts of things out of there, lint and all sorts of trash which in, in effect may be causing the phone not to be able to uh, accept electricity, the stuff's in the way or it's causing an intermittent charge or you know other issues of looseness when the plug's in there that's the simplest explanation uh, but anything beyond that, which I did that early on, anything beyond that that has to do with that port would have to do with something having gone wrong with it. Um, I don't know that anything at all was wrong with that port, but I, it seemed like the most movable part on the phone, the part that would take the most abuse in daily use. Uh, this phone was given to me by someone. It only worked intermittently, and it became a project. And uh, I love electronics projects, even when I have no idea what I'm doing. In fact, that's even more fun. So um, there you have it. If I get this working, if I can actually get the phone to uh, come on again, I'll have bragging rights. 
And if not, I'll come back and fess up that it was a fail. But maybe you'll learn something about one plus two phones, and even more so, it's just sort of an interesting topic uh, that is repairing your own phone. Oh, one footnote. Uh, pluses and minuses about one plus twos. Uh, if I haven't already bored you to tears. Uh, I own a Samsung Note 4, which to me is a gold standard phone. Uh, it has a battery that is easily removable. You just snap the back off and the battery falls out. Um, it also has an external SD card port. And those two things have caused me to love that phone and have no desire to upgrade. So... Uh, but the one thing about Samsung phones other than that is they're not especially friendly to hackers uh, as far as you going into the phone that is Android is very friendly to hackers as far as software goes but hardware is a whole different matter but with the OnePlus 2 though it has less of a reputation as far as its hardware actually being reliable um, in fact I'd say there's a fairly good case to be made that these phones are not made super well. On the other hand, they are made modularly. That is, you can open one of these things up and without any soldering iron, you can un you can take this phone down to the screen, uh, remove everything, including the motherboard, uh, with only a little screwdriver and a couple spudgers, um, and maybe even not the spudgers. So it's a very easy phone to get into and if I was more of a one plus two lover, and maybe I'll turn into one if I can ever get mine to work, um, it really begs you to mess with it. Now I'm at home by myself, just me and my third eye. Third eye. Third eye. But tears are running from it now. <laughs> oh, baby, it never, never lied. Said you gotta get yourself together with the Lord Just as soon as you can yeah. Well, who knows, man Maybe in the presence of the Lord Maybe that'll make me a home